everyone, I'm Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest gel ice pack. This will not freeze solid, so it will be moldable. It's a lot of fun, it's very easy. You probably have everything in your kitchen. So let's get started. To make your gel ice pack, all you're going to need is a couple of zip top bags. I will make a note and say that brand name is best because they do seal best. You don't want this leaking all over everybody, so get the best ones that you can. You need a couple cups of very hot water. Um, I just heated this up in the microwave for a couple minutes. And some dish soap. This is green anti-grease dish soap, which your, whichever is your favorite. And you're going to need some salt. And this is a about a quarter of a cup, you can do a quarter to a half a cup. Depends on how hot you get your water. So I'm going to take our water and pour it into a large bowl. You can see how hot that is. And our salt. So this gel pack will not freeze solid. It's still going to be flexible so you can wrap it around your ankle or It'll just mold to wherever you need it to be. So I'm just taking the hot water and the salt and just kind of whisking them together to try and encourage that salt to dissolve. It's gonna take a minute, and if your water is not hot enough, it won't dissolve all the way. So you might need to go stick it back in the microwave. All right, so there we have some very salty water that's not going to freeze. Then we're gonna take our dish soap and just very gently Mix that in there. And this has some ingredients in it as well that are going to um, not freeze as well. And this is what's going to actually make the gel part of it as it chills. So I'm just very gently mixing that. All right. And then what you're going to do is just very carefully pour this back into your cup. Don't make a big mess like I am. Probably do this in the kitchen as well. All right, it smells really good. Set that aside, there's a little bit extra there. And then you're going to pour it into a Ziploc bag. All right, and then just get it all in there. These are the quart size bags. We don't want to fill it too full because remember it will expand as it's getting colder. All right, and then zip it closed. And as you're zipping it closed, kind of try and squeeze out as much air, extra air as possible so that we don't have a big air pocket in there to deal with. And you can see there that's sealed really well. Just give it an extra squeeze. So there you go. All right. Can't use it like this. You need to get a second bag and put this inside the first one. And what works best is if you make sure it's sealed really well and put the old the seam on the one that's full to the bottom of your new bag. So I just kind of fold it in half like that, and it will take some some work, but it will go in there. And just kind of wiggle it in there. And what I do is I get one corner down in, pull that, and then hold it. It's a little bit of work, but it's worth it for that extra security. There we go. And then I grab the corners on the bag that's full and just kind of shake. And see there, it's all matched up inside. Get that second bag out of the way. And again, seal this one and squeeze out the air that's around that second bag. All right, so there you go. Your gel pack is done. You just need to let this sit until it reaches room temperature and then toss it in your freezer and it will not get hard. It will be perfect for any time you get a little bump and bruise. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll see you guys next time. <music>